to get depth of field up and running in Maya, I am going to select my camera in my attribute editor, scroll down. You're actually going to skip over depth of field and you're looking for Arnold. There you can enable the OF, which is depth of field. And let's go ahead and press IPR just so we can see what's happening. It doesn't really look like anything's happening. So I am going to increase this aperture size. And then you can see, oh, okay, yep, definitely working. Now, instead of like guessing where this focal distance needs to be, what we can do is go up to display, heads up display, all the way down to object details. And then any object that's selected, we have distance from camera. So it says this text is 55.928. Now, if I were to type in, you know, 56, into my attribute editor. Click the camera, let's type in 56. You'll notice that, well, yes, that's working, but the E is blurred out. What if I just want the P to be in focus and everything else to be blurred out? Because clearly the E is closer to the camera than the three is. I'm gonna drop in a cube, press W, and then I can hold V as in Victor, that will snap to points. I am actually gonna make this a lot smaller. There we go. And now this is the important number. If I will put this little cube wherever I need it to be, uh, wherever I want my camera to be focused. So if I want the camera to be focused right here on the P, this is 42.3. Select the camera once again. Let's go over to the focal distance, 43.322. You'll notice, okay, we do have a change. Increase that aperture just so we can have an extreme example of us changing this. Let's go ahead and select the cube. Let's say we want the E in focus. We're just going to get that cube right where we want this to be focused. Hey, that looks good. 32.31. Select my camera, 32.31. And now my focal distance is set appropriately right where I want it. Obviously, the aperture size is way too crazy, so you can play with that. Uh, but now you can get your awesome, juicy shots inside of Maya with depth of field.